My cauliflower and zucchini soup is an absolute winner for getting veggies into your diet. Now, I love cauliflower. It's such a versatile vegetable. It picks up the flavour of things beautifully. It adds nuttiness to food. And that is what I'm going to do with this soup. I'm going to show you just how brilliant cauliflower can be. So onion and garlic go into the pan. And whilst that's just gently browning off, we're going to use leek. Again, you're bumping up your veggie intake by using a leek, which adds some sweetness to the dish. It complements the onion beautifully. And guess what? It's bumping up your veggies. So I reckon a bowl of this soup at home, and I tell my kids this, is getting a massive serve of veggies into the diet. So a bowl of this is probably two serves of veg for the day. So I'm going to brown that off slightly and I add the cauliflower really early. And the reason is that you want to get the cauliflower nice, browned, sweated, because it adds nuttiness to the soup. So it's such a key portion of this recipe. Please, 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 if you do anything with this soup and you're thinking of me when you make it, and I hope you are, brown that cauliflower. So whilst that's going and sweating and getting nice and nutty, I'm going to make my stock. And so I've got some water and I'm going to use some Vegetta stock powder. And there are lots of versions of this, but I'm using the vegetarian one. So this makes this a completely vegetarian meal. And we're just going to dissolve that together. Beautiful. And that is going to come into this pot soon. But first we need to get this cauliflower to the right point. That cauliflower is exactly where I want it. Slightly brown, it's been sweated off, so it's just at the right point. And the stock goes in. You want to use a stock that's going to enhance the flavour of your soup. So that's a really good option, the Vegetta one. And I put some zucchini in as well. So often people just do cauliflower and leek, but hey, Priya bumps up the veggies even more and she puts the zucchini in. If there's one thing I love, it's zucchini. Now, let's combine that. Add a little bit of pepper. Beautiful. And just a pinch of salt goes in as well. Now, I'm going to let that simmer for 35 minutes so all the veggies get nice and soft. Those veggies are really nice and softened, so it's time to blend the soup. I'm going to use the Magimix Power Blender and it's got a glass jar so it can take the heat, which is perfect for a soup. We're going to get all this goodness in there. Beautiful. So all those veggies are nice and soft all the way to the top. Perfect. So this is ready to blitz. And the cauliflower and zucchini and leek come together beautifully in this soup. goodness back into the pan and just put it on some gentle heat and now I add the cheese which takes this soup I think to the next level. I'm going to reserve a little bit of this for the end for serving and a pinch of nutmeg. Nutmeg is quite potent stuff so you don't need much of it and the heat through the soup will just beautifully melt that cheese down. Now my kids love this and for my toddler I just throw bits of good bread through it so it really chunks it up for him and makes it a whole meal. My daughter's big enough to dip it in. Do whatever works but this is a great meal for the whole family. Oh my gosh, the smell of it, the cheesiness, the cauliflower. Now let's get a good serve of this in. So imagine how many veggies you're getting in a serve of this. So good for your chronic disease risk, your cancer risk takes you closer to the five serves of veggies a day in a really big way. Got the zucchini, the cauliflower, the leek, bit of extra cheese goes on top and a little sprinkle of nutmeg. So you can have that all on its own or you can have it with a side of bread, but that is a nourishing bowl of goodness. Mm -hmm.